Hello, I'm Entrisim, and welcome back to Throm the Dead. The up in smoke is looking very... Angular. Interesting. Maybe I could I could set up like a pitch thing that says if your pitch is greater than so and so, spin the blade. Uh, I can't really be asked, and I still think this works because it allows the bottom cannons to get good views. Allows a lot of the missiles to get you know good views. The firing arcs are pretty good. I don't mind too much. I mean, it's still not perfect. I just can't be asked, really. Uh, I think this will be fine. So we're just going to go straight into a battle. And I think we'll then start doing stuff with a bomber. Actually, uh, in the distance is a little bit on the large side. Yeah, I'm going to pull all. We'll just get a little bit closer. Whee! A little bit closer. Whee! And... Fight with the up in smoke. Bam. And yes, I will bring everyone else into the battle. <laughs> oh, we got a charger. I forgot about the charger. And we've got a Sandman that's really badly injured. Why are you not healed? Okay. Uh, we're just going to use the up in smoke for now. What are we up against? Sparrows. Sp nothing. Nothing particularly intimidating. I don't think we've got a problem here. And... Teleport. Okay! Fire coming down range. Not integrated mode just yet, although that's likely to happen. How are we doing? Missiles coming out. Again, we don't really have any missile defenses as such. We are getting a couple of hits. That looks like a guy who won't be coming back. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that's. Oh, I, I bet the AI is dead. I bet the AI is dead. You're lucky you move so fast. Okay, just gotta get through your armor. I don't think you can really do anything to us. Oh, there we go. We've hit the ammo supply. And your engine, and now you are stationary, which means you are dead. Say goodbye. What? Why? Why are you landing behind him? No. There we go. Better. Yeah, this is not a good place to be. Although to be said, that to be said, you know, you didn't take as much damage as I thought you would. Please despawn so I can start killing the other dudes. And three, two, one. Come on. There we go. Can't be much left of you to despawn at that stage. Hello, we've got a buzzsaw. Hello, buzzsaw. Ah, missiles. You sneaky sod. That said, you do not have enough armor to withstand what I'm doing and do to you. Or enough shield. Like you've got some shield over your saw, and you know that's impressive. But I'm sorry. There we go. That's more like... Look, we've even ripped a hole inside here already. Are we shooting behind you for some reason? Yes, we are. AI dead. Hada! Excellent. AI... Oh, oh, God. This is a little bit overkill. The AI is already dead, guys. You you can stop now. You can stop. I could switch them off from targeting salvage, but it's just too funny. How much damage have we taken? I think one percent. It's not insignificant. We are going down. Have we lost power? Again. Ah, this is how they got to us. Directly up here. Okay. Well, this is obviously a, a you know a problem. They've disabled a lot of our back engines. Right, well, you know, this is something that needs to be fixed. Armor here. Just make that entire section out of metal. Put some shields on it. Now we know for future it's going to cripple us in this battle. But what the hell? I, we're nearly done. Oh, nice. Yep, you're despawning. 
raining, which is lovely. Too damaged. Good for you. Bring your last friend in and then we'll kill him. And three, two, one. Pop. Who's next? It must be you, right? Oh no! You've got a you got an arrow! Who just flew into everything? And you're still moving. How impressive. Really? All of that EMP? Oh no! No! Yeah, that yeah. Wow. said you're still not dying as fast as I'd like. But we've lost a lot of our missiles because they're bottom firing. Uh, the cannons are doing a good job at least. There we go. Two damage, despawning. And whoop. <laughs> and the missiles now join us. Right, how about you? Ah, you're a fast one. You might actually ram us. It could be interesting to see what happens. Now, I look forward to this confrontation. There's a lot of ordnance in the sea. You might hit some of the ordnance. Ah, you've lost control because we took out some of your forward control. Set. Oh, we're flying again. We're flying again. Oh, yeah, you've got no chance, mate. I mean, you're hard to hit. Yeah, that's... That's pretty painful. You're trying your best to get up to altitude, love you. But you have both. I mean, you're a, you're a fun type of boat. You're interesting. You can jump really high. But you're still a boat. And unfortunately, there goes Grandma's top pile. I'm the up and smoke, baby. You just can't compete. Just to, just to point that out. I love it. I love it. I want more of it. Right. Um. What are you? Uh, 96. Oh, we've got some big craft there. Well, what we'll do is you can continue to, like, heal and go capture that. And then move like that. And at the same time, these guys can go capture this. They are moving at 10 meters per second, so they're not like insignificant speed. They will eventually get to us. Okay. I'll let them. What we need to do in the meantime is pull all. Let's check how fast they're moving. Are they going to have time to actually build something? Because I want to go into a building section, but... Hmm, I'm watching you. I don't think they'll give us time. I think we need to charge them. Redwing, Goldwing, can you take them out? I think you could probably take them out. Have a massive fight with just our fighters, although that could result in crashing. Hmm, I'll give it a try. And we can fight from this distance. Sweet. Boom. Are we all in the same spot? Of course we are. That is not allowed. One, two, three, four. Oh, we've got some down here. Hi. There we go. Um. Uh, oh, we can get everyone in. Let's try. It might crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can still crash. That's a lot of fighters. And it is a Navy force. So it's going to be interesting to see. Oh, God. Have you just started ramming each other? 
Yeah, one of the fighters has rammed their main capital ship. Both both of their fighters have rammed the main capital ship. One of them has been dragged underwater. It's good to know it's not just me that has these problems. There we go. First volley missiles incoming. Good. Really hitting these fast fast moving uh, skimmer things. That is uh, surprising. Good, but surprising. I didn't think we were going to get the hits. Yep, their ships are underwater now. They might actually start despawning if we just do a little bit of damage. Two down. There we go, three down. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, Ooh, I thought that was a mid-air collision happening. Oh. Oh, just dodged. Oh, ho, ho, ho. How close was that? Right. Bring it. This guy's AI dead already? Oh, no. It's the guy next to him. The little one. I've got to say, this is a pretty large ship. It's, it's impressive. I mean, I'm always tempted to jump out and try and grab it. You know what? Let's do it. We haven't done it in a while. I don't want to overuse the boarding mechanic, but I do think that it's a little bit fun sometimes to grab someone. Where am I relative to them? Uh, I'm coming back for another pass. Okay. It's going to be hard to judge the time to jump out, but we're going to do our best. Oh, God. Mid-air collision. Oh, holy... That was close, man. Don't do that to me. My nerves can't take it. Right, here we go. Here we go. Jumping. Grenade launch up. I didn't retain as much momentum as I thought. But... I'm going to be close. AI dead. Still the small one, not the big one. Okay, now which big one do I want? I want the bigger one of the big ones. Because it looks sexy. Oh, wow. I am very low in the water right now. Took a lot of momentum. Come on, Nelly. We got this. Oh, wow. There isn't much of that actually left. If you just hit the uh, mainframes with those EMP... should be close enough to be able to get the kill. Well, get the, not the kill, the capture. Because the EMP should take out any mainframes nearby. I just need to, like, stand on top. Slightly away. Ooh, ooh is there a mainframe in here? This looks like a command deck. I'm gonna keep shooting it. That looked like a decent shot with the MP. No? Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God. No, I could get killed here. Jump away. Oh, that sounded close. I'm just going to stand on top. This probably is a safer area to be. I cannot see what is going on. My eyes are filled with oil. Help. AI oh, well, that one's got AI did. I should have been over there. Maybe this one will get AI dead. Maybe I'll be lucky. That's it. I'm, I'm in the middle of what is about to be the only target in the entire sea. Oh, crap! Bloody hell, look round and saw all them coming in. Jesus. Oh, 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 yes! Huzzah! We have a new ship. Well done, Lattices. Did we take a single, like, injury? I am very far zoomed out. View battle end options. Oh, it's still despawning. Okay. Gold wing. Oh, there was an injury. Red wing. Yeah, there were some injuries. Minor. Okay. I 
think we'll, we'll just consolidate our position now. And we'll go build the uh, the bomber that I've been meaning to build for quite a while. Uh, so, let's head back. And it'll be a, a fairly fast bomber, so I don't mind building it pretty far away. And pull up. Oh, that's so much faster. On base, and I would like to spawn. Whee! Boink. Right, uh, I would like B. Whee! New object, vehicle, plop. Okay. So the idea behind this bomber is it's going to be basically nice and fast. I might use a custom jet engine because it's going to be a lot bigger than our current fighters. And that means, you know, I'll actually be using a custom jet engine and not using, you know, an exploit, effectively. Which, you know, I think people would appreciate a little bit. Uh, it's going to have a lot of missiles. Probably some downward facing missiles as well. And it's actually going to have anti-missile missiles on the front and back because it's going to probably move a little bit slower. It's going to be much, much larger. I'm thinking something like a B, uh, a B, B2 style, B2 bomber. Big Delta Wing. Uh, I would like you turned at 90 degrees. You've got that. Yep. Okay. I'm happy. Whee! Hello. Ow. Okay. So I would like block, lightweight, beam. And this is how we're going to start out. Just putting down a beam. In fact, I probably don't even need the beam like that. Putting down a mirror line. And sort of thinking, how high is this going to be? Now, our fighters are effectively three high. I mean, the wings are only one, but you get the idea that they are effectively three high. I think the bomber is going to be probably five high to be able to fit the custom jet engines inside it. And very sloped at the fronts. Did I not put down mirror line? Good mirror line. There we go. So with three high, I can do quite a lot in terms of the engine. So if we put the engine... Oh, that said. I said if we make it five high, we could just have exposed engines. A little bit more prone to damage. But the speed would be so good. I think we have to go for the speed. The speed is going to save us more than armor. So the way to do the speed with this is going to be do this. Then we put a engine, 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 number nine on the new lock transit line. Yeah, I know. Uh, I should shut up. Crankshaft. And then we can take away these. And then this is actually going to be held together by the engine. So inset that into the floor. Then we go with carburetor. No. Uh, cylinder. That's what I wanted. Derp. And this is how it's going to get power. Uh, I would like carburetors then all around. And this allows you to have basically a flat engine. Take up as minimal space as possible. Uh, however, I do think we're going to need a lot of power on this guy. Because I might even put shields in. And I might even put a laser system in. Like an anti-missile laser system. Because really the massive thing that is a threat to our fighters is missiles. Uh, if they happen to be coming towards a fighter when a fighter is moving that direction, fire can't do much about them. And anti-missile missiles are only okay at certain angles. So my thoughts here are entirely the fact that we're going to need to have probably some anti-missile lasers. And I'm I'm not I'm not massively in favour of that because the the sheer amount of uh, power you need to get that working. But we'll see. Uh, right. We also want um, you, 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 you. Okay. And now the question is on top, because this is going to be open, right? This is actually going to be. You can see these carburetors on the top of the craft. Do we want to put an extra? Um, Sorry, these uh, these superchargers and engine and fuel tanks. I think we do want to put our own carburetors down like that. Just because that will give us so much more power. And we're up to 1,000? That's a lie. Really? 
isn't much, is it? Okay. Well, hopefully, this, when we get the fuel, uh, the, uh, no, the not the fuel tanks, the charges in, this will change quite dramatically. So, to get the guy in the middle, we probably want to do that. Because this will give that 2-2, two, two, and it will give this one here 2-1. Two, one. Now, the question is, what do these guys get? These guys are going to get 4. And if I did that, they'd be 1-3. You know what? I think this might work actually better. And then... Oh, actually, no. How, how am I going to get the middle ones if I change these to engine and fuel tanks? Because my thought was I could change these to engine and fuel tanks. But then... Or we could do that. That's a charger. Blockaded. By 105? What the hell are you? Three saw sharks. And we've got a charger, which was my damaged one. Okay, up in smoke. Move in. We're going to need you. Uh, you guys. We're going to need you. That DL. I didn't really expect that. Oh, well, they came for me. Oh, yeah, we know. Not unexpected, I guess. But that'll be next episode. Uh, we can quite easily get there in time with our fighters. And the Up in Smoke is actually in range to join in the fight. But wow, they are close. They got very close. I guess they've got a very short engagement distance for some reason. Uh, but yeah, if you like this episode, if you like or subscribe, please consider subscribing. Uh, we'll continue work on the bomber next time after this fight. And we're going to build the bomber around, I think, two giant uh, custom engines. Large engine to be able to provide all the, uh, the fuel that they'll need. And then some forward firing and rear firing anti-missile missiles. Maybe a laser system. We'll see about that. We need a much bigger engine. I don't think it's going to be feasible. And a lot, a lot of firepower. I'm talking a lot. Just missiles. Loads. Loads of missiles. Just missiles. Okay? Just missiles. That's pretty much what I'm going for. Uh, forward firing. Rear firing. Upward firing. Downward firing missiles everywhere. So we can just constantly bombard. Which means it'll need a lot of ammo supply. But I'm good for that. I, th I think we can get to work. Giant sort of B2 type styly. And we'd, I'd probably only want one or two of them in each fleet, because otherwise they will probably crash into each other and that'll be painful. But until next time, I've been able to see you, and stay shiny.